So Operation As Much is is a home base out of Tennessee, and uh, it's a drive to basically get uh, uh, churches on board with getting outside the four walls and meeting the needs of, of uh, the community, whether it be in uh, mission projects, whether it be feeding the homeless, or in nursing home ministry, or uh, cleanups, or even just community cleanups and parks and that kind of thing, and just reaching back and trying to give back to the community without expecting um, growth or church growth, but specifically just to uh, get out and love them. My family and I, we moved back from Guam and, and uh, started going to West Hampton. And West Hampton had a uh, vision night where they brought in uh, David Croker, I think's his name. He's from Operation Inch, West Tennessee. He was going through and doing a drive all the way through Virginia. So the PBA asked if we would host it. They came in and, and um, we hosted him coming in to sell the vision of what Operation As Much was. We went and a, a mission committee asked me if I would head it up. And from there, our church got kicked off on the first ever um, annual, now semi-annual. We've gotten so called the fever so much, we're doing semi-annually Operation As Much. So there's multiple visions from Operation As Much. It starts off with Operation As Much, um, uh, one day event where it's one church, one day, get out in the community and do one day event. And then from there, that's where we started. And now because it was such, um, the church got behind it so much, that they've asked to do it again, so that we're going to start it semi-annually, so we're getting out even more frequently. In our situation, we did operations in as much where we went out and we took uh, care packages to the homeless, we took care packages to a uh, nursing home, we did the laundry, went to laundromats and paid for people's laundry and actually did laundry for them, or just even just paid for it while our kids were, were playing with their kids and giving crayons and coloring books and spending time with their kids at the laundromat, just sharing the gospel with them when when the opportunity arose, but just spending time loving, back, loving them. We uh, roofed a house for a guy who uh, has cancer and um, uh, doesn't know the same Christ that we serve, but we uh, spent some time roofing his house. We pressure washed houses in the community and, and just showing people that we're just here to love you. We're not here expecting something in return. We're just reaching back out to you. Well, our missions committee uh, at First Baptist Church in uh, Newport News um, came to me. They had talked about it. Um, they had actually attended training uh, that occurred uh, from Operation In As Much to uh, at there at the West Hampton Baptist Church, and uh, so we had four members of our missions committee that went to that training, and they came back uh, excited about it, and uh, they actually set the date of September 27th to have our event. It was an awesome day. Um, it just uh, to see our church come together uh, to do the community-wide event uh, was just awesome. We had a hundred plus uh, church members uh, participate that day, and um, we had uh, uh, eight different projects that we ran uh, that day. A number of people have come up to me uh, excited about what we did and, and how it was a double blessing. You know, it really. They felt really good about it. They know it um, did good in the community, and uh, many of them have uh, wanted to do this again. And so um, we uh, have a meeting next week uh, with our committee to talk about uh, the next steps. And uh, so we're excited about what the future has in store for that. Matthew 25:40, you know, that says, "Inasmuch as you serve others, you serve me." Jesus really set the example for us, and um, it's it's an awesome scripture. Uh, it's an awesome mess, uh, mission that Operation Inasmuch has. You know, Christ is just leading our church to not to care about um, so much about the fast food church getting together and just worshiping, just pray, praising God through music. You know, spending time giving our offering hearing the message and then going home and forgetting about what was really our goal is here. But our goal is to get out and fulfill the Great Commission, to get out and actually express Christ's love to our community so that our community can find the hope they need to continue on in their own daily lives. And if we can meet a need at the same time, then we can just be blessed too, because God's going to feed us as we feed others. When you serve God and you see the blessings, it changes. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen uh, firsthand uh, 
the needs that are out there that exist. And uh, it's really neat to um, be at this end of it to be able to provide some of those services.